nice it was to read in the Mountain Eagle about the 10-year-old little girl, Willow Grace Whitaker, who was born in Letcher County, spreading joy by having her birthday donations going to support the animal shelter. That was a nice story to read, considering all the bleakness that's now going on. Her grandparents, Wayne and Sue Whitaker Hallie, should be very proud of her, which I am sure they are. To the freckle-faced Raggedy Ann, why do you call my house? just as soon as a visitor leaves and hang up on me when I answer. By the way, I have your number on caller ID. You are going to be in trouble for this. To all you good, wonderful people out there, let's obey the authorities and not catch this disease. And don't be doing any hoarding. The Lord does not like hoarders. If you don't believe it, read Luke 12. You will learn he doesn't believe in hoarding, and you won't either after reading it. I see in the paper where someone mentioned the Democrats having a camera on the bottom of Mr. Trump's commode. We don't need a camera there. We get to watch crap come out of his mouth every time he gets on television. I'd like to respond to the person or persons who seem to have nothing on their minds other than the alleged gay women at a certain gas station. I don't even know where that might be nor do I care. All I know is if I lived near it, I would make a point to support that business. With all things going on right now with the COVID-19 pandemic, worrying about who may or not be gay is a very strange thing to be obsessing over. Give me a break. It's well known that people who go out of their way to criticize gay folks often are covering up for their own sexual issues. Like a certain anti-LGBTQ preachers who are later discovered smoking meth in a motel room with a male or female prostitute. So in my opinion, is that folks should be concerned with more important issues than who may or may not be gay. As I once heard someone say, if you mind your own business, you'll be busy all the time. Thank you and stay healthy. I was looking at the Letcher County Jail website to see who is in jail and saw that in addition to arresting people, we are also arresting powder puffs. There's a girl on there who looks like a powder puff, face and all. Unreal. Nobody likes nosy neighbors, and I wish mine would keep her nose out of my business and stop telling my wife stuff she sees me doing during the day. It's none of her business. So please, neighbor, mind your own business. I can't believe the Democrats added $600 onto my unemployment check. I'm not supporting those baby killers and their socialist programs. Before long, they'll try and give us universal health care. I'll be sending that money back. I'm sure all Republicans are with me. MAGA! It's weird how at least two Republican presidents Trump, and George W. Bush have had to turn to socialism. I just saw something written on a t-shirt in a catalog that tickled my funny bone. It says, Jesus is coming, hopefully before the next election. If and when you get a check from the government and you are retired or, or don't need it, Don't you think it would be a good idea to pass it on to your brother, sister, or acquaintance who has a small business and no money coming in? Also, you could divide it with restaurant workers, etc. And if you do, don't say, do you need it? Just do it. By blessing someone else, you could be blessed. Pass it on. 